So I'm here to let you know that Yahweh is your father. And the white man made sure that we don't know our fathers, even on the earth, most of the time. He has created a woman that half the time she doesn't know your father. Till you get here, we've never been programmed to look for our fathers. This society has done that to us. I'm coming to tell you who your father is, who your true father is. When you receive me, then you'll come into the knowledge of the true father. And you'll learn his name, you'll learn all about him. He's somebody big, he's somebody special. He's mighty and he's great and he's famous and he's rich and powerful. And he's everything that you would be looking for in a, in a father. He's loving and he's caring and he's forgiving. Now you know how some of us, we won't forgive nobody of, of nothing. Some of us will hate a person our whole life for a little mistake they made with you. Yes. Yes. I hate Sam. I hate her till I die. As long as I see him, I hate him. I hate the thought of him. I can't even stand the thought of him. Carry a grudge forever. And yet we turned our back on our father, denied our true father, rejected our true father. But do nothing that he said do. And then when we get in deep trouble and cry out, Oh Yahweh! You can't believe it, but here's this man you've done all this evil to turn around and say, yes? I need your help, Father Yahweh. You say, okay. He just say, stop being evil. Stop learning the ways of the heathen. Stop being wicked. Stop being foolish. Obey my will and I'll bless you out of your mind. That's the kind of father we have. And he'll subdue your enemy for you. Conquer your enemy and you won't even have to fight. Just conquer your enemy for you. I'm talking about your true father. What a man Yahweh is. To forgive us of all our foolishness. What a man. What a man. This man is our father. Merciful man. When you don't deserve mercy, he has been merciful. Many times we faced death and didn't deserve to live. Yahweh spared our life. Oh, I know I'm right, and you do too. You wouldn't call his name and say, Thank you for a meal. And he made the food, and yet when you cry out to him in hunger, he'll turn around and feed you. He won't even allow your children to beg for bread. If you be righteous toward him. What a man. The same man that you reject and despise and hate and talk against without a cause. When you turn, cry out to him. He, he smiles at you and forgives you and extends his hand. What a man, Yahweh. For the man. Yahweh is bigger than his enemies. I know he is because he made me like that. 
I'm just his son, and he made me bigger than my enemies. I've come in the presence of people who have talked against me and worked against me in this city. And then when they finally come, I, I just smile and extend my hand, and I never say anything harsh to them. I just say, come on, daughter. Come on, son, and do right. Won't you do right? Do right, baby. Do right. What a man. It's an unusual man. That man is our father. I think we should want to learn about the man that we never met that is our true father. Find out what is he like? What has he ever done that I should honor him? Well, from the beginning, he created the heavens and the earth. That's what your father did. That's a lot of power. Created the sun, the moon, and the stars. That's your father. Your father created the beasts of the field and then created them to procreate after their own kind so that the cow remains a cow. Horse remains a horse after his own kind. That proves you can't come from no monkey because the monkey is still producing monkeys after their own kind. Your father created you in his own image. And I'm here to restore your image. I'm here to give you the right image. That's all you need, the right image. We love all moral men. And I teach you to be moral. Oh, glory. To be blessed, we must be ethical. And the definition of ethics is a system of moral principles. A system means an order, a method, a truthful, mathematical, sequential fact. Ethics deals with the rules of conduct that all civilized people of the earth recognize. Deals with our culture. Deals with our values, the values that govern human conduct with respect to rightness and wrongness, goodness and badness. Ethics implies high standards. In order to be ethical, you must be honest, honorable, virtuous, chaste, straightforward, and open, high character, exhibit the nature of Yahweh and the character of Yahweh, be in the will of Yahweh, obeying the will of Yahweh. Last week, I took us over the reality that ethics deal with the sacredness of covenants and that our covenant with Yahweh is eternal. We will be eternally rewarded according to our conduct. We will be eternally rewarded with good are eternally rewarded with bad according to our conduct. Now let's look up the word sacred. A covenant is an agreement. An agreement is the same as a contract. We, the so-called black people of America, have a contract with Yahweh. What? I didn't sign no contract. Oh, yes, you did. Huh? Deuteronomy 5.3, yes you did. Well, I didn't know it. Well, that doesn't make you absolved from it. Because you didn't know it. Deuteronomy 5.3. The Lord Yahweh made not this covenant with our fathers, but with us, even us, who are all of us here alive this day. Read verse 4. The Lord Yahweh talked with you face to face. Face? Face to face. In the flesh. My face to your face. Your face 
to my face. That's what face to face is. I mean, my face was in your face, and your face was in my face, and we made an agreement. Not your father, you. I sure didn't know that. That's why I come to bring it to your attention. I wrote it down. There it is right there. John 14, 26. Well, I didn't remember. Well, you read this verse, you'll remember. All right, let's everybody read. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. See, I am the Comforter. And I am the Holy Ghost. And you have to admit, I am sent in Yahweh's name. All right, read. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Bring how much to your remembrance? So now it's hush. You did forget, but now you remember. I made this agreement with you in Deuteronomy 5, 3. Not your fathers. I forgot. Well, now you remember. Ethics. It's unethical to not remember. That means you're in an unethical state of mind to not remember. Covenant with Yahweh, an agreement with Yahweh, a contract with Yahweh is sacred. Unethical people, word means nothing. They give their word and they turn their back on their word. When you turn your back on your word, what is another term for that? Lying. You're liars. It means you're untruthful. Untruthful means you're unethical. Ethics is a part of morality, and truth is a definition of morality. So ethics and truth go together. Can't have one without the other. Because they're all a part of the same thing. Morality. Ethics. Oh, glory. Sacred. Sacred. Dedicated to or set apart for the worship of a deity. Woo. Woo. Read on. Made or declared holy. Holy. Your agreement with Yahweh and his agreement with you is holy. So if you go against your agreement, you're unethical. And if you're unethical, it means you're carnal-minded. And if you're carnal-minded, you're mentally dead. Romans 8, 6. If you're unethical, you're carnal-minded. If you're carnal-minded, you're mentally dead. If you're carnal minded, you're materialist. You're a lover of materialism. You worship materialism. Materialism is not something that you enjoy in Yahweh. Materialism, when you're carnal minded, is something you worship without the knowledge of Yahweh. Things. Read. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Look what ethics brings you. If you are ethical, you will enjoy life with peace. So if you keep your agreement with Yahweh and understand that it's sacred, you'll have peace in your life, success and prosperity. Now, sacred covenant is a holy covenant. Give me some more sacred. Sacred, dedicated or devoted exclusively to a single use, purpose, or person. Or person. So you have to be dedicated to the exclusive use of Yahweh in order to receive all that he has to offer. And oh my, those who seek to accomplish without Yahweh have a difficult time. We dedicate ourselves to Yahweh and he just blesses us. We, we of our own mind could not get the blessings we have in Miami. Because no one without Yahweh is getting it. 
and before Yahweh, we didn't get it. And in Yahweh, we don't know what we're doing to get it. It's just like dropping from heaven. It's like manna from heaven. Go, Yahweh. See, ethics brings this about. I'm an ethical man. Ethics means moral, righteous, right, honorable, honest, good, truthful, virtuous, and chaste, open, straightforward. Hmm? That's the kind of man I am. And my disciples become the same way. So I'm here to warn you against being disobedient. Warning against disobedience. So let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 10. To be disobedient is to be unethical. When you are unethical, then you are punished. Notice that this ethical subject is coming from the Old Testament. Read. And it shall be, when the Lord Yahweh thy God shall have brought thee into the land which he sware unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee great and goodly cities which thou buildest not. See, to receive this, all you have to do is be ethical. Receive me, Yahweh ben Yahweh, believe in me, believe on my name, receive me and receive my name, and then all of this will be yours. That sounds incredible. Well, it is. Yahweh is incredible. I'm his son. I'm his incredible son. Did an incredible work. And that means you don't have to be in poverty. You can come and join the ranks of the rich and the famous. All you have to do is change from your evil, wicked way of thinking and take on righteous thoughts and come on in and just be a part of yourself, your true self. That's all to it. What do you have outside of Yahweh? Looks to me like you can gain everything just by being in your way. Ethics will cause you to inherit land with cities, good cities. See, when righteous man rules, the people will rejoice. <laughs> Proverbs 29, 2. Read. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Praise Yahweh. So now how many want to rejoice? How many tired of mourning? Then you should be able to say joy to the world. Yahweh is come. Let the earth receive her king. Yahweh then Yahweh. If you accept my authority, look what I will do. Think some people are afraid of that? Why would anyone be afraid of me when all I do is good? Some of the power people sent me a message this week that I'm the most powerful man in America. And they said that I'm the most feared man in America. Can you imagine somebody, a little old man like me in Miami that America is afraid of? It doesn't make sense. She rules in the sky. She rules in the ocean. She rules with the Marines on the land. And her army is governing foreign lands. What is she talking about? Afraid of me who have no weapon? Just doing good? I would think that all good men are glad that I'm here. 
Maybe only the only people that are not glad I'm here are bad men. <laughs> Do you think maybe I'm a problem for bad folks? There are two forces, good and bad, right and wrong. And one has more power than the other. Which one has power over the other? Good? Then whose side do you want to get on? I'm the good man. My work proves I'm good. So you don't have to suffer, just come and follow me. You don't have to catch hell, come and follow me. You don't have peace, come and follow me, I'll give you peace. You don't have to be poor, come follow me, I'll make you rich. You become instant millionaire, instantly. As soon as you start to follow me, you become rich. You don't even have to have a worry or a problem, but you have to be in Yahweh's kingdom for this to work for you. Hmm. Oh yeah. yeah, if you don't follow me, it's not gonna do you any good. Joshua 24. Now, in order for us to inherit these good cities, notice there's an S on those cities. Did you notice on Deuteronomy 16, you will inherit land and great and goodly cities with an S on it? Cities. Now, how many of you would like to inherit good cities, just that you didn't have to build yourself? I mean, isn't that sweet? That's incredible, isn't it? Am I demonstrating it's possible? The more of you that come to me, the more I'll do. Good. You don't want nothing? Stay away from me. Because nothing for nothing, leave nothing. And you and your nothings, y'all stay away from me. <laughs> y'all be nothing all by yourself. I don't need anybody to help me do bad. You can do bad all by yourself. All I can do is good. You can do bad. I do good. And I do good all by myself. I came doing good all by myself. And you that join me that want to do good, look how blessed we are. Anybody in here want to be good? Isn't it, see, it's not hard. How many think it's hard to be good? Hang around good people. And it comes to be easy. That's all. We're good people. Establishing good brotherhood, good sisterhood. That's what we're establishing. Good brotherhood, good sisterhood. People that's bad, I don't, you can't be in mind. You just can't be till you be good. You have to be good. You can't want to be good, you gotta be good. You have to be good. Now, there are those who are our enemies that look just like us, that think you have to fight, pick up weapons to gain cities, to inherit cities and land. I'm proving to you here in Miami and across America that you don't need any weapons at all. No weapon formed by the hand of man do you need. You don't need it. Let's read Joshua 24, 12. Read. And I sent the hornet before you, which drave them out from before you, even the two kings of the Amorites, but not with thy sword, nor with thy bow. Now the same Elohim that did this for us in the past, is doing this for us in the present. Now there's a hornet going out stealing the prosperity of America. And they're suffering from the poison of the hornet. And I have the healing sack. Not with your sword, nor with your bow. Oh, Yahweh. Verse 13, read. And I have given you a land for which ye did not labor, and cities which ye built not, 
and ye dwell in them, of the vineyards and olive yards, which ye planted not, do ye eat. Verse 14 reads, Now therefore fear the Lord Yahweh, and serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood, and in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord Yahweh. All your other gods away and serve Yahweh. In what? Sincerity and truth. You have to be for real. Verse 15 reads, And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord Yahweh, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord Yahweh. Choose you this night. Who are you going to serve? Let's read verse 17 and 18. Read. For the Lord Yahweh our God, he it is that brought us up and our fathers out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage and which did those great signs in our sight, and preserved us in all the way wherein we went, and among all the people through whom we passed. And the Lord Yahweh drave out from before us all the people, even the Amorites, which dwelt in the land. Therefore will we also serve the Lord Yahweh, for He is our God. We are all witnesses that Yahweh is driving our enemies out from before us without the need of any weapon. No riots, no bricks and bottles thrown, no profanity used, hmm? no marches. Notice, notice that Yahweh is accomplishing for us without marches. See, we're not marching on Washington. When, when we march to Washington, Washington will belong to us. <laughs> Obviously, I'm the Prince of Peace. I'm showing you how to conquer with peace. Isn't that awesome to see? I mean, see, it's in the past. See, Yahweh did it in the past. And he's the God of the past, the present, and the future. Same God yesterday today and forever. Is that what he's saying? Yes. Hebrews 13, 8, let's go check it out. What I was able to do yesterday, I'm able to do today. What I'm able to do today, I'll be able to do tomorrow. What I'm able to do tomorrow, I'm able to do forever. What I did yesterday, I was always able to do. Read. Yahweh bin Yahweh the same yesterday, and today, and forever. Choose you this night. Who are you going to serve? 